What's up YouTube? What's up Hammerheads? Van Hammer HP, Craig coming at you. Alright, so uh, gonna do a quick install here. This is uh, really the only time I got to do it before the next time I, uh, I'll be able to get back to the track. Uh, they are racing tomorrow, but I don't think I'm gonna make it out there. Uh, we just got back the, uh, the tune revisions for the 91 octane tune with the cold air intake. Uh, and there's still a lot of gas in there, so I don't think I'm gonna have time to switch over to the E85 and uh, get all my data logging on the E85, send it off and get it back uh, for the cold air intake for it to run on the E85. So probably not gonna go racing tomorrow, but we had already planned and for sure going racing next, the next day or the next Saturday. And uh, we'll have everything set up by then. But, uh, we got a lot going on, uh, so really this was the only time, the only opportunity I had to install uh, our next little modification, our next uh, suspension upgrade, uh, which I hope will uh, help me stick that much more, help improve those 60 foot times, uh, and keep the car uh, from spinning through the first couple of gears. There's a lot of power in this car now, and uh, if it doesn't stick right off the bat, it actually, you can hear it chirp uh, even into the third gear. And so uh, anyway, I'm hoping this is gonna help the wheel hop, keep the, keep the wheels down on the ground. Uh, we got our drag radials now. So all this combined with the springs, the vertical links uh, should, should help it out. Um, and uh, you know, I think I think with our power mods staying in a and what we have at this point I think all this is going to be sufficient so what did we get let's take a look real quick and I'll show you all right so you can see we already got uh, Rachel AC jacked up got her up on jack stands we still got to remove uh, the back tires but here it is once again BMR Okay, I'm not a sponsor or anything, but these guys are proven uh, to make a, a quality product at a mid-range price, so save you some money. And uh, so that's that we're sticking with it. That's what we've been going with. That's what we're gonna stick with is BMR. We'll take a look at the side. And yes, there's our part number, the BMR CB010. It's the Cradle Bushing Lockout Kit Level 1. Okay, it says 15 to 17 Mustang, but it is compatible with your 18, 19 Mustang. Uh, so, you ask why, why just go level one? Uh, so there is the level two that has the extra brackets in it. Uh, I just really don't think it's necessary for our power modifications at this time. If you're putting down some major uh, rear wheel horsepower, uh, maybe you want to go with go with that as long as we stay in a though I think this is gonna suffice uh, and and just be compatible with with our needs so all right so we can see what we got here this is our uh, cradle bushing lockout kit level one this set here is for the front this set here is for the rear um, on on either side uh, I was a little disappointed there. I opened my packaging. There was uh, no instructions and I didn't even get any cool stickers from BMR through that. So, uh, but uh, not really a big deal as far as instructions go. There's several videos on YouTube. I've watched them several times. Uh, I've already got an idea of how to do it. Uh, and, and so if yours arrives uh, without instructions, either search my video or find one of the others that are on there okay so here we go we're gonna go ahead uh i'm gonna take the tires off i'm not gonna bore you with that video so we'll just skip back once we get to the meat of the stuff okay here's where we begin here after we get the tire off uh, if you if you can remember back from when we installed some of the springs you're going to be taking taking loose some of the same bolts uh that enabled us to let that down to be able to get those springs in uh you can see this is the cross member piece here for that subframe and then also this bolt here uh, we'll get under there so you can see those just a little better there as you can see we already have some BMR parts up in here we have our vertical links and then our performance 
lowering springs. Uh, and then again down there you can see that we have the subframe supported by the jack right now for when we drop that. And let's go ahead and get under here and see what we see here. So what we have here is we have a 21 millimeter bolt, two 13 millimeter bolts right here. That's what we're gonna take those, take those out, take this completely off. Uh, your bushing pieces, that big one will actually fit on top right here. And then the other one will fit in between here. If you can see there's some rubber pieces, I can actually press it with my finger. Okay, and those bushings, what they end up doing is they secure those uh, rubber bushings that are already in there and keep them from expanding which uh, gives you some of that that wheel hop there so uh, let's see on the back side here again you will see your 21 millimeter bolt there we'll drop we'll drop this we're gonna pull both both out on one side uh, and then that's gonna let our subframe uh, fall enough and then same thing you'll have the uh, thinner of the bushings will go on top and then you'll have uh, the si uh, the silver metal pieces will actually sit here and lock in uh, right there I'm just going to thread that bolt back in there just kind of as a fail safe uh, that way if something happens the, the jack or whatever doesn't hold the subframe that uh, until I get ready to lower it down uh, you know that's in there I'm hoping I don't know maybe this is just wishful thinking that uh, I won't have to uh, drop the exhaust i don't think that it'll have to come down that far so wow that's interesting Hit it with the breaker bar real quick to kind of loosen it a little bit. Let's see. Come on, DeWalt, don't fail me now. Let's see if maybe that extension piece. Of course, it can't just come out easy, can it? it was that bad but okay bolts out finally you could probably, I don't know if you could notice the subframe drop just a little bit on that. But again, it's supported by the jack. To be safe, we are going to go ahead and uh, get this brake line here. Cause... So, oh, so carefully. Okay, you see how that dropped quite a bit there. Can easily just slide the big ring right up in there. So you have these rubber bushings right here. Obviously then your two slots will go to the opposite sides of that. And it is a tight fit, but you want it to be. 
because it is compressing and holding uh, that rubber. Okay, there it is. She's on there. Okay, we're gonna come back to the rear and there's plenty of room on the rear. Small bushing just slides right on top there. In this metal piece, you can see how it's flat on two sides. That's where those clamps go. Once we got those top bushings on, we can crank our support back up, crank the jag back up to push it back up there. Right, that's close enough to at least get our bolt started. Always remember to just start them by hand. All right, so we got our back bolt in there uh, with the, the bushings on it, got the back bolt started. And we're gonna come back to the front here. Go ahead and put our plate back on. Go ahead and start the smaller bolts first. We can get everything kind of lined up. We're gonna go ahead and snug these down. Uh, then we'll come back and torque everything up. Uh, the torque specs are on BMR's website, uh, along with uh, a PDF version of the instructions for all of this. Uh, again, too, if your instructions don't come in the box, so. Okay, we'll see how that's sitting there. You can see the bushing there on top. How this locks, this piece locks that out there on the bottom. What we look like here. All right, let's torque them down. All right, the 21 millimeter bolt torques down to, it's supposed to be torqued to 129 foot pounds. Whew. That's pretty tight on there. I'll tell you what, 129 is not easy underneath the car. Alright, smaller 13 millimeter bolts are 49 or a correction 41 foot pounds. 41 should be a lot easier than 129. All right, so that's it. That's one side. Uh, pretty quick, uh, pretty quick, fast, and easy. Um, Would have gone a lot quicker if I uh, wasn't recording a video. Uh, so just make sure you torque down everything right. Uh, make sure you come back in here, reattach your brake line. Uh, if you uh, loosen that, put everything together. Do the same thing on the other side, and you should be good to go. All right, hammerheads. I'm pretty much gonna leave you that, uh, leave you there with that. Uh, you know, it's the exact same thing on the other side. I'm not gonna go over it again uh, on the other side. So uh, that's it. Cradle bushing lockout kit level one. Uh, easy, must do modification uh, if you're out there on the drag strip. Okay. Uh, probably what I'll get to do here just real quick is because I still haven't driven the car since. Uh, the revised tune's been in there uh, with the cold air intake. Uh, Mrs. Van Hammer's been driving around. I've been working. So what we'll do is we'll probably come back at you just real quick after it's all done. We'll be in the car. We'll do like a little mini review of the cold air intake. Uh, you know, and I don't expect, uh, you know, the ride to be very much different after installing this. Uh, BMR promises no MVH on there so i don't i don't suspect to to hear or feel any of that so but we'll get in there and just make sure that everything's set tight so we'll come back at, at you for the little test drive and then we'll end it there all right got her done uh getting a little dark on me and stuff here but nothing ever goes easy right uh, so started the first 21 millimeter bolt and 
the uh, socket bit for the impact drill broke and it was the only one I had so I had to do everything else by hand uh, getting breaking all those loose and and then tighten them up and everything like that so took a little longer but uh, all in all probably should take uh, maybe an hour hour and a half you know to, to do that it's quick easy and it's a must-have if you're at the drag strip all right I'm gonna get cleaned up a little bit then we're gonna take her for a quick ride uh, see how she handles and everything so all right here we go sorry it's dark it got dark on me and so we're going with the <laughs> little creepy face here uh, anyway we're just gonna drive this around for a second see how it feels it's also gonna be my first impression with uh, with the revised tune on the 91 octane with the cold air intake installed uh, I, I can tell you already before it was even revised just with it on our last tune uh, it felt like it did it, it felt like you could feel a power increase and some throttle response and then also I had the windows down uh, and to me it sounded like the uh, the uh, track exhaust actually sounded uh, a little better and so uh, but that could just be me uh, could be a mind thing anyway let's uh, see what we got here we'll say uh, I'm in normal mode exhaust it does sound like the normal mode exhaust is a little bit louder I can tell just already that just tapping on the throttle and stuff it feel, really to me it feels like the throttle response is a little bit quicker it feels like it's a little more sensitive uh, and that could be the tune in combination with the, the cold air intake I don't really want to record inside the cabin in track mode because does kind of drown drown me out recording in here in the track mode the, the exhaust is that loud but just driving for a few minutes now I really don't I don't feel a difference in the back end or anything I don't feel a difference in the ride quality um, and as far as the cold air intake goes tell the difference in the tune uh, or, or it's the power that the cold air intake is giving it, it is, uh, to me it, it's very uh, it's very obvious uh, but I'm not hearing any noises I'm not hearing any clanking or anything like that in the back uh, going over the bumps or anything like that it doesn't you know so I, I don't know that you would the only time you're really gonna see the difference um, is basically probably in your 60 foot times it's gonna make all that a little less tighter keep you more planted uh, and not have uh, the excessive wheel hop on it on acceleration uh, so you know there's not much I can tell you as far as the driving uh, with the with the cradle bushings being installed what I can tell you is, is this cold air intake and this uh, tune revision is the shit. Uh, it really does feel different and I like it.
that. We'll get to test it all out at the track next week. Be ready and be looking for that video. Like, subscribe. We're at 131 at the time of this video. So we're gaining some ground. Get me to a thousand. Come on, people. Let's do it. All right. Like always, drop the hammer. Peace.